What's up, my beautiful divine feminine, my nieces and my nephews, divine masculine? Welcome back to the karmic circus where we expose all of these karmic keys as clowns. Oscar said, what it do, what it do, what it do. Please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go. If I say he, in your situation, it could be a she. So we're going to find out what's going on between you, your person, and the karmic energy. Okay. What's the energy going on between the collective and their personal spirit? So a marriage is ending. For some of you, the marriage card in reverse, it could mean you ended a marriage and marriage is over. It could mean you could have been engaged to somebody to marry them and you gave them their ring by. Um, it could mean somebody broke their wedding vows. But it's over. Or you don't want to marry somebody. You don't want to be engaged to somebody. Determination. Oh, no more indecisiveness, firmness. So, you made up your mind that this marriage is over, or this relationship is over, or somebody. Oh, you don't want to. You don't want to marry this person, but you're engaged to them. Okay, with the appointment here. So yeah, this is somebody you're engaged to and you're determined not to be in a marriage with them. Yeah. So this could be your fiance. You're 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 firm on your decision. You don't want to you don't want to marry this person. So this is not somebody you're married to. For those of you that you're married, this is not your reading. This is this is a reading. It's, it's like for somebody who's engaged. And now you possibly been engaged to this person and you realize you don't want to marry them. Which was a, a good thing. You know what I mean? You know, it 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 gave you um the clarity to know if you wanted to be with this person for the rest of your life and you don't want to. So let's see who this energy is first. Now, like I said, this ain't going to resonate with everybody. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else. You may feel like this person is a... Uh, You may suffer a loss from them. This is a karmic energy. They, with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, whoever this energy is, they 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 have a dark side of wealth, of getting money. They do dark things to get money. Yeah. And maybe you're saying no, you don't you don't want to marry this person because you don't want to be a financial failure. Because they get money in a dark way. And they're emotionally immature. They put a lot of doubt in your mind. Okay, tell me about this person that the collective is refusing to marry.
Yeah, whoever this person is, they may have a gambling addiction, and right about now, they're not changing. They're having bad luck, and that's not going to change for them. It's destined for this person to, to have, you may feel like it's destined for them to have some sort of bad luck because they, how they make their money in a dark way. Mm -hmm. And again, this person is emotionally, this is how you feel. You feel that you don't want to marry this person because they could have been juggling you with somebody else or they juggling finances. And they happy with how they juggle. But they're having bad luck, too. Yep. They losing money. And you don't want this person, you know, to have you burnt out, disorganized. Tell me more why this collective. Whoever this person is could have had you feeling stuck. You know, they, they trying to be perfect out there with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Two of Cups is here. Okay. You, you could have a good friendship with this person or you may collaborate, but the way they get their money, you, you can't, you don't feel that. See, this person is charming, but at the same time, they can be rebellious. And when they do something rebellious, they, they take quick action. They're very impulsive. And this is why they're losing. Because they, they make um, impulsive decisions. They, they don't think things out. And this is someone you you're not marrying them because you're not not you know they're not gonna change. Yeah. So you ended you ended with them. Things is coming to an end with them and with you. For them. Nothing makes this person happy. And and right about now they don't they don't lost a lot of money. Mm hmm. They're feeling discouraged and unmotivated. This is someone who will take a lot of risks. And it is the will of fortune in reverse. Tell me more about this person. For some of you, this person could be a religious figure. Or they, they just received some information about some money. This is a divine masculine. He can't focus. He's restless right about now. He's burnt out for making these impulsive decisions. Mm -hmm. Confirmation out here twice that he's burnt out. He's restless. Mm-hmm. Not a source of energy reverse. Throwing a fit. Denise Miller. See, this person sees you as someone. In the Queen of Swords energy, you're in energy. You're setting boundaries with this person, and you 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 cutthroat. Yep. You direct direct communication. You tell them exactly how you feel, and you told them that they getting karma. Yep. This person may have come, come crying to you that they lost a lot of money or they lost something and you was like off with their head. You, you know, you wasn't in the Queen of Swords reverse energy, but you, you just basically told them why they lost. 
you told them why they having bad luck because the will of fortune in reverse is is them getting karma so clarify the will of fortune in reverse clarify the will of fortune in reverse releasing six of swords a change secrets inner turmoil yeah they're they're um some of their karma could be you you releasing them um and they're worried and stressed they could be having nightmares mm-hmm So this is somebody who, who you've decided that you don't want to marry them because they have a gambling addiction or something. And you're independent. You set clear boundaries. And this person is feeling stuck because they was in the, the two of pentacles juggling positively. They was happy. With their, with their juggling the money and all of that. But now they're going through a spell of bad luck. Some sort of karma. Clarify the karma. A missed opportunity. Eight of Wands in reverse. This person is... is feeling like they missed the opportunity with you because they was moving too slow. There was no progress between you and them because this person didn't have a, a what was their employment? A difficult decision. They feeling stuck. Um, we have somebody avoiding somebody out here. <clears throat> I feel like this person don't have a real 9 to 5 job. I, I feel like they have little hustles. Okay. They have hustles. And whoever this energy is, they are some sort of, uh, they are a divine masculine. But he's just distorted right now. This is somebody who you, yeah, you don't, you don't want to go back to this person. Reunion in reverse. Because you feel like they're deceptive, being sneaky, and you 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 found out. What is the seven of swords? What is the seven of swords? What is the seven? This person, you may have already uh Gave them their ring back or turned them down or something. They flipping out. They slapping themselves all up in the face. They slapping themselves. Yeah. See? They slapping themselves. They feel like this is something they can't come back from. They're not happy. Mm-hmm. This is, this is going to spiritually awaken them. Mm-hmm. They still have hope. With the star energy out here, um, you could be the star energy, Aquarius energy, and the sun. Okay, the sun out here, the star, the ace of pentacles, new opportunities, moving forward. And you may just don't, you know, this person could have been draining your energy. You, you, it's like, it wasn't like you was trying to tame them or anything, but or subdue them. You couldn't subdue this lion. It's like when it comes to the gambling, when it when it comes to what else is it that's going on with this person? Tell me more. Yeah, the hangman in reverse. This person has an awakening.
Two fell on the floor. They're broken hearted. This person is broken hearted, but they stubborn. Use their wish come true. This person has somebody around them. That's extorting them, taking them for granted. And they're heartbroken. You made the truth. This may be the truth that you got. So this is why you're you're not you don't want to marry this person. Okay? You don't want to marry this person because they have uh, somebody that they're dealing with that they don't want to let go. And whoever the person is that they don't want to let go is they're being distorted. I mean, extorted. <laughs> and they're in the distorted energy. Yeah. Overindulging. Pretending like they're happy. Or pretending like they're sad. But they're really happy. Or somebody is pretending like they're happy. And they're really sad. Why are they determined? So they was juggling you and somebody else. Some sort of manipulation. Some sort of spell work they were doing. Yeah, the magician out here. Why are they determined to marry the collective? Wow. Whoever this energy is, they want to put you in a lack of direction. This this is your op. Somebody, you know, rules and regulations, the emperor energy out here. This person is is someone, you know, they want to they're determined to cause delays and obstacles in your life, setbacks. Yeah. You 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 know this now. You know. I don't blame you. I wouldn't marry this motherfucker either. They stubborn. They was juggling you. They doing magic on you. They they're creating obstacles. Mm-hmm. Had you frustrated? Confused? Yeah. This is why you've made it up in your mind that you're not going to marry this person. And then this is somebody who who you you gave them, you said, okay, we're going to try this one more time. What happened when they tried it one more time? This person, when you went back to them, they were in the Knight of Cups energy in reverse. Um, an overactive imagination. They're moody and they're jealous. And you went back to him. You're like, shit, I ain't marrying this motherfucker. He too goddamn jealous. You, you. It's like he, the things that he, he's jealous about. He overacts. He does. He does too much. Somebody can just smile at you and he'll react like you done laid down and fucked him right in front of him. Like you done fucked somebody in front of him. Or you kiss somebody. You know, um, he just overacted. This is why you're saying you don't want to marry him. I don't blame you. And the reason they act like that is because he's juggling you with somebody else, with the third party. So tell us about the third party. Who's Who are the other energies that's in this masculine life? This masculine, he's 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 selfish. He's emotionally manipulative. Yeah. Mm-hmm.
self-limiting beliefs, a spiritual path. See, you could be on a spiritual path and this person tries to, to limit your beliefs, what you believe in when it comes to a spiritual journey. They don't believe that. They don't believe in all these readings and, you know, oracle cards or tarot cards or burning candles and sage and all of that. They don't believe in that. For one, the reason they don't believe it because they know it's something to cleanse your energy or to heal, help you heal over them. So the majority of the time, these karmics, they do not like spirituality. Because it illuminates their darkness. Mm -hmm. Whoever he's juggling you with, he's saying that they're just his friend. They may be. I don't know. But he don't want you to walk away. He wants you to be undecided. In a lack of direction. Or where you're supposed to be in a relationship. Just because they do you wrong, that don't mean you're supposed to be being done this way. So basically, this person is, you know, they're determined to to get married to you or engaged to you, but they're breaking your heart. King of Pentacles out here, a King of Cups, <clears throat> the Hermit, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, soul searching, self reflecting, and solitude. Yeah, you ended it with the death out here. Yep, it's over. And you don't want to be with them. You're you're recovering from, you know, the, the situation that they had you in. And they're trying to resist the ending with you. Okay. You could be Scorpio and they could be an air sign. Yeah. Yeah, this person, yeah, they're 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 ten of pentacles. They may make a lot of money. And that came out when I split the deck. They they may make a lot of money gambling. But just as quick as they get it, they can lose it. And this is not what you want to deal with, nothing like that. You don't feel secure. Because they could have your rent money or your mortgage money. One minute and then five minutes later, they didn't gambled and they lost it that quick. Yeah. And this person with the, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo towards Capricorn, dark side of wealth, financial failure, a loss. The dark side of wealth is someone who does, does low vibrational things to get money. They may steal to get money. They may con people to get money and scam. They may sell illegal things to get money. They may gamble to get money. These are things that, you know, um, you don't want to marry nobody like that. And you ended it, which is fine and dandy, okay? But this person is suffering from a loss and they're brokenhearted. Tell me more. This person isn't healed. They were somebody, they don't like to get out in nature to get the energy of the radiant sun. They don't like to do things in, you know, um, a spiritual way. And if, if you reconcile with this person, just know that they're in the Five of Swords reverse energy. And that if you reconcile with them, you will have regrets because they're reconciling with you for revenge. Why is the revenge here? Because they selfish. For some of you, um, it's the Queen of Pentacles energy in reverse. Someone who works at home, only cares about themselves. If she's married, she don't have a job. She has a, a, a work at home, you know, energy. Financially independent. Okay. This could be your energy, divine feminine. You could be the queen of pentacles.
Oh, okay. So for some of you, this, this, you work from home because your person wants you to work from home. This is why you're like saying, I'm not marrying him. This is somebody who's controlled. Okay. It's like with this eight of swords, it's like you're feeling helpless in jail somewhere. Yeah. Wow. This, this just been the energy, you know, um, the, the video that I'm uploading right now, this is kind of going into the, to the same energy. But it was like somebody in the last reading, somebody did some some magic to, to make somebody marry them. And this is how these selfish motherfuckers is because they could have three or four other women that they fucking around with, but they want you to be a part of that clan. And then when you don't, you know, choose to be, you don't want to be in that energy, they start doing magic on you and shit. Manipulation. Instead of just leaving you the fuck alone. If you want to be a player, go on, play your ass, go to the fucking playground. Yeah. So I'm going to pull some. I'm going to go in my junk box. Pull some energies out of here. Mm, these fell out on the desk. This person is trying to affect your self esteem. And you may have had a fight with them. Afraid and scared. A narcissist. A secret baby. You found out about a secret baby. And narcissist again. So this is why you're not marrying this person. You could have got in a fight with this person. You could have found out that they had a baby with somebody else that was a secret. Or you could have got into a fight with the baby mama. The baby daddy. And how this person, you know, trying to affect your self-esteem. If they went and dealt with somebody else, they're trying to make you feel like you can. they can get somebody better than you. That goes both ways, baby. Just like they can get somebody better than you, but they can't. <laughs> <coughs> but you can get somebody better than them. Because this is a person who has addictions. They low vibrational. They're a player, and God the Most High going to send you your true divine partner. So you ain't got to worry about that. This person is a narcissist, and they sent by the devil. Some shit is coming to an end. Yeah, things are coming to an end for this narcissist. They wanted things to come to an end for you. Something about the letter J. gossiping about them so somebody can be gossiping about this narcissist okay somebody could be afraid and scared of something this narcissist could be scared they tried to send death to you your name could have start, start with the letter j they could be gossiping about you or you know This person could be a male escort. Just say no. If they come, if they propose to you, tell them no. No. You may be afraid and scared to say no to them. No, you tell them no. More approachable. So if this person did something to you, if you had a fight with them, they're trying to wait till you cool down so you'll be more approachable. Then they're going to try to come to ask you to marry them. But just remember, this is a narcissist. 
and he's coming back to do you dirtier than he did before he was married to you. When you get married to him, he going to do you the worst. Okay? Something about family members. This person is, if they're a narcissist, they will do things to keep you away from your family. They will cause arguments between your family. They'll, you know, say things like, um, your sister tried to flirt at me. You know, um, your brother tried to flirt at me. Cause problems in your family. You know, if they come from a, a family that's not uh, loving and caring when they come into your family. As a matter of fact, don't even introduce them to your family. This is what I'm going to start motivating you people. Stop telling these motherfuckers where your family and, and shit live. Because in case you got to get away from them, you don't want them knowing where your family, where they can just pop up and come find you when you're trying to get away from them. Stop telling them. Stop showing these people. I don't care if you've been married to them for years. It's too late now. But when you're meeting new people nowadays, don't tell them where your family at. You don't want to be on the news where this motherfucker that found you and set your, your house on fire or, or killed your little brother or your sister because they mad at you, because they can't find you to make you come back to them. Because some of you, they could be on drugs. And you may be unaware of it. I'm coming out. Keeping a baby out of spite. So, yeah, this, for some of you, this person, you know, where it said um, they had somebody on the side, the person that they got pregnant don't want this baby and don't want your person. They just doing it to be spiteful. But, see, you ain't got to worry about that. You ain't got to fight that, that woman or anything about this because they going to get karma because they didn't want the baby. They just being spiteful. So it's going to come back and bite them on the ass. They don't want to go be having to sit up with that baby. Because this ain't going to keep that mask on. He going to still be out being a player doing what he want to do. So, yeah. For money. They want money out of this mask on. This is why you're, you're not dealing with them no more. Somebody could be a work. You could be the workaholic because your person, the letter N, you could be the workaholic. And your person... They make they living off of doing low vibrational stuff. An untimely death. So we're gonna we gonna get clarification on that because I'm I'm sick of seeing death and all of this. I shouldn't even made no cards that say death and funerals and, and all of that shit, but it's out here twice. So somebody is trying to stop somebody from moving forward. Wow. Yeah, some things. Here's death again. Damn. Somebody is afraid. We rebuke the spirit of death. Okay. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Some of you, you, you could just be a Scorpio energy. Okay. Scorpio energy out here, real strong. And Pisces energy out here. And Cancer is water signs. So this can mean you you could have cried a lot over this person and you're you're totally ending it with this death out here. And the untimely death could be they didn't expect for you to end it with them. Somebody may lose their job. Yeah, you felt like there was no soul connection with you and this person. Maybe you moved out and you had to go stay with family. You ended it with them. You had to go stay with family. They could have came home, and this could be the untimely death energy where you haven't packed up and moved out. And they trying to call you, and you're not, you're not, you're not um, taking their calls. Nope, you're not. So show me the energy surrounding this untimely death, Holy Spirit, when it comes to the collective and this karmic energy. 
choice. Clarify the untimely death. Somebody didn't, uh, it was karmic energy. A karmic masculine didn't apologize. So he's losing his job. That's, that's so for some of you, that's the untimely death. Somebody is going to lose their job when they least expect it. Okay. And it's sudden wealth. Something, okay, the coffin came out in reverse again. So, okay, so. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit, for clarification. Okay, whoever this energy is, they basically, they made the choice. to be narcissistic, to do the things that they did to you. And for them, their reward is losing their job because they didn't try to fix themselves. They didn't try to work on themselves. They didn't try to get themselves out of this dark entrapment that they have themselves in. You, on the other hand, collective, you're about to receive some sudden wealth. Things are not coming to an end for you. And somebody is, you're about to receive some sort of ex unexpected income. Okay? Put it in the comments. You claim this energy. Things are not coming to an end for you. Unexpected income. Sudden wealth. Where this person, I guess they felt like if you weren't with them, that you was going to lose everything. But things, they're losing shit. They done lost their job. Because this is a choice that they made. To be a narcissist. Let me give me three more. Convict. Building a foundation. Brother. For some of you, um, this could be your brother energy. It could be your brother. Um, if this isn't somebody you was in a relationship, this is a family member. That's a narcissist. Now, for some of you, your brother could have had something to do with your person. Your brother could have sent this karmic energy to you. To try to fuck you over. Okay. This could be something that you're unaware of. That this person. They got together and plotted and planned. Could have told this person. Sent them to you. And had you to fall in love with them. And then tell this person to withdraw from you. To withdraw their energy. An attorney. If you was married to this person, then you you may have just gotten yourself an attorney. This person has some sort of addiction. So this is withdraw, withdraw. You withdrew, withdrew your energy for a lot of reasons because they're narcissistic. Because they had options out here. They made a choice, you know, to wish for things to come to an end for you. We have a karmic tarot reader. One night stand type of energy it came in reverse. You didn't want you don't want a one night stand. So see, this person, it's like they're determined to marry you because you're not low vibrational. They want to keep the good divine energy and have have you know other energies on the side that's not of the divine. This person could be doing something with liquid cocaine, they may be shooting the shit in their, their veins. And you're going to see them get their karma. Yep. Something about a strip club. They may go, they may, may have met these women at a strip club. And they don't get it that it's not going to work. If they was, they could have been doing stuff to try to make you jealous. So what's not going to work? 
Well, it's not going to work, Holy Spirit. You're still stable. You're still around your family. So whatever they was doing, it ain't going to work. Whatever they trying to do to get you to message them, it ain't going to work. You're not messaging them. For if, whatever they trying to do to get you to respond back or reply to them, and it's not going to work. And they praying for you to, to, you know, respond. That can represent somebody is about to receive some sort of sad news. You're no longer in despair when it comes to this person. You're you're not homeless. Okay, and if you was with this person, you could have lived with them before, you know, you was testing it out. And there could have been a lot of chaos and conflict in the house. Arguments. Your house could have been flipped upside down. This person could be a junkie, nasty, unclean energy. They don't keep things organized. Mm-hmm. So you don't you you you're you're seeing things of the future when it comes to this person. They don't treat you like a divine feminine. And for the shit that they do, they don't apologize. And they put you through a storm. But now the light is coming. But if you go back to this person, you're going to go right back into that storm. I honor. Don't don't allow this person to waste your time. Cuz the most high holds you in high honor. Don't give this person your time. Okay, all they did was cause a lot of conflict and arguments and shit. They messed your home up, your house. This person possibly wasn't wasn't didn't have a home. They could have had a house, but it wasn't a home. There is a difference, you know? There is a difference. A home is love. A house is just a, a, a building. It don't become a home until you start putting things in it. And you put the, the love and the energy into that house and turn it to a home. But this is somebody who didn't have a home. They had a house. There was no love between the family. They didn't sit and watch TV with all the brothers and sisters and the mother and father. They didn't, you know, get popcorn and have movie nights and stuff like that. Yeah, they didn't have that. Even before all of this new shit, even back in the day, if this person is older, they didn't have this type of energy with their family. It was just a lot of chaos and conflict, conflict, arguments, a storm. This is why they don't apologize for the things that they do because their family is not in that type of energy. They're not of a, a divine energy. And you're seeing all of this. Yeah. This is why they don't apologize, and this is why the death is out here, because you put an end to it. So if this reading resonated with you, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and put in the comments that you subscribe, okay? And I'll see you in the next reading. Tell them bye, Oscar. Peace out.